Hi, in this video, we would like to answer one interesting question. Can the VLAN take AO2.1Q still pass through the trunk after we add the PoE standard to the trunk? First, we need to understand what is the VLAN and the trunk. VLAN is just like the room. This is the switch we can create two VLAN and assign different ports to each of the VLAN. It's just like we have different rooms. We create a room and we got the room number like VLAN 101 or just room 101 or room 102. Then only the port stay in the same room, they will see each other. So these two groups will be separated. It's simple if you just have single switch. If we have multiple switch, let's imagine we need to connect this switch to another switch. And both switch have the VLAN 101. In this case, we have to create a trunk port allowed all the VLAN from the first switch pass through the trunk port and reach the second switch. Then we may still need the PoE standard if the distance between these two, switch, two switches is beyond 328 feet. After adding this PoE standard at the middle of the, this distance, can the VLAN take still pass through this trunk and reach to the second switch? Okay, now let's move to the whiteboard and run the quick test. If you're experiencing difficult thing to build a network, please let me know. Here we got two switch. This is the edge switch. The edge switch is the PoE power switch. It's powered by another switch at the center. We don't need to have the power source for this switch. I create a VLAN 101 and assign port number one to VLAN 101. The camera is connecting to the port number one. This is the trunk port. It allows all the different VLAN to pass through and reach to the center switch. Now let's move to the center switch. This is the 60 port PoE switch. The last port, the port 16, is connecting to the edge switch providing the power. It's also the trunk port. So the VLAN 101 can come from the camera port and arrive at the port number six. This is the port number one. I also create VLAN 101 aside the port number one to VLAN 101. Now the network video recorder it's connecting to the port number one. So we can see the live video because both camera and the network video recorder stay within the VLAN 101. We use the trunk port linked to these two switch. The VLAN, all the VLAN can pass through the trunk, including the VLAN 101. The first test we are going to do is I'm going to move this cable, remove this cable and connect to the other VLAN. Let's just connect to the port number 10. Now the video, we don't see the video on the monitor. The reason is because the camera and the network video recorder stay in different VLAN. They don't see each other. Unless I put back the cable, connect to the port number one, we are going to see the video live again. This is the base setup. Let's wait for a while before we can see the live video. This is the L2 Plus Manager switch. You need to take a while to recognize the address. Okay. We get back the live video. Let's start to run the test. We got two PoE standard. This is the cable linking the first switch and the second switch. And use the coupler to link these two cables. I'm going to replace this coupler by using the PoE standard. Let's test this one into our PoE standard first. I will connect the input port, the power coming from the switch in the center, and connect one of the output port. I can see the PoE sender is getting the power indicators on. We are still not seeing the LAN indicator turn on yet. The reason is the switch is the manager switch. It needs the power. It's getting the power. It will take a while for the switch to boost up. It's get, now the indicator is on, that means the switch is being powered up. And the camera is running, it will take a while. I think the camera is live now. So it means the VLAN tech AO2.1Q can pass through the PoE standard and reach to the network video recorder. It works. Now we run another test. This is one in one hour PoE standard. I'm going to remove the cable and connect this one in one now PoE standard.
let me just get the cable and connect to this one in one RPU standard. This is input. So we connect to the output. So the PoE standard is getting the power and the data. It will take, still will need to take a while before the second the edge switch boots up, and we can see the live video on the monitor. I believe the answer is yes. Let's just what, meanwhile why the VLAN tech can pass through this PoE standard. If we just put the another switch, like the not manager switch, it will not work. The reason is the PoE standard is not actually the switch. It's the hub. It will not check the VLAN tech. It will just pass whatever the information. It's just forward whatever the data from the first switch and forward to the second switch. So now we get the live video. That's the reason why the PoE standard can allow the VLAN tech to pass through.